Soyuz T-1 Russian, Soyuz T-1, also called Soyuz T, was a 1979-80 unmanned Soviet spaceflight, a test flight of a new Soyuz craft which docked with the orbiting Salyut 6 space station. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mission parameters. Spacecraft, Soyuz 7K Street Mass, 6,450 kg Crew, none Launched, 16 December 1979 Landed, 25 March 1980 Mission highlights Four months had passed since the last Salyut 6 crew Soyuz 32 had landed, and since the same amount of time had passed between the previous space station's long-duration crews, a December 1979 launch was considered a real possibility by observers. However, though the secretive Soviets did launch a craft that month, it was not what observers expected. Soyuz T-1 was launched the 16th of December and was the fourth unmanned test flight of a modified version of the Soyuz spacecraft, the first to be given a Soyuz designation. 2 days later, it approached the space station but overshot it. A second dock attempt was made the 19th of December and Soyuz T1 successfully docked at the forward port. The Soyuz lifted the orbit of the space station on the 25th of December and remained docked to it for 95 days, during which time the station remained unoccupied. It undocked on the 23rd of March 1980, performed several days of tests, then was deorbited the 25th of March. The landing date was outside a normal landing window as the craft was being flight rated over the standard two and a half months and the Soviets were planning to launch Soyuz 35 during the next launch window in April. The mission was unusual for several reasons. Unlike other previous long unmanned missions, Soyuz T 1 was not powered down while docked to the space station and, its recovery saw a change from the norm as well. Previous Soyuz missions saw the entire spacecraft de-orbit. But with the Soyuz T-craft, the orbital module was separated prior to retro-fire, to save propellant. This allowed for more maneuvers prior to de-orbit. <laughs> 